Hello friends, if you'd like to see how I made a delicious egg roll in a bowl with only two ingredients, then stay tuned. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making a egg roll bowl. I'm going to be using 97% fat free uh, ground white turkey. And I sprayed my pan with some um, just cooking spray. I'm just going to plop this in and get that started cooking. Let me wash my hands. I've made this a few times before, but I don't think I ever did a video on it. I absolutely love it. It's fast and easy to do, and it tastes absolutely delicious. Now, you could use ground pork, ground chicken, ground beef, whatever you want to use. I am using the ground 97% uh, fat-free turkey. So we're just going to get this going. I have some fresh ground pepper that we're going to be adding. We're not going to add any salt at this time because we're going to be adding some soy sauce and also this. This is, I have it in two different bottles. So... I get it down the Polish aisle at my Fine Fair supermarket. But I believe, like, the American equivalent to this sauce is, um, like, Maggie or the Noor. I believe it's called the Noor uh, seasoning sauce. It kind of tastes like soy sauce with beef bouillon and maybe Worcestershire. I can't really explain it, but I'm telling you it's delicious. So we're definitely going to be adding some of that. Okay, so this turkey is mostly cooked. It still has a little bit further to go, but I'm going to throw in some onion that I sliced on my slicing machine nice and thin. So that's all uniform. If you don't have a slicing machine, then just slice your onions like you normally would. I'm going to put that in. Then I have one bag of coleslaw mix. This particular coleslaw mix happens to have red cabbage, white cabbage, and carrot. throw this in. Now it will um, reduce down a little bit, but you just want to get all that in there. I'm going to put a few drops. Now these Oh, this one does say Maggie. And this one, but but I guess they put it in English and in Polish. But I'm just going to put some drops on the top. And this, this sauce in here is just, me and my mother absolutely love it. Just on rice. Oh my God, it's so good. So that's why we're not adding any salt to this dish because it does have a lot of sodium, actually. So I just placed a lid on this and it's going to help build up the steam and wilt down that cabbage a little bit so then I can turn it without getting it all over my stove. I'm also going to be adding some reduced sodium soy sauce. 
going to help with that steam, the liquid. I'm going to let this go for about five minutes until I start turning it. Okay, I'm going to start mixing this. It smells delicious, you guys. I'm going to lower that a little bit. This couldn't be easier, I'm telling you. And if you wanted, you could even um, cut up some celery really thin and put it in. But I used my celery a couple of days ago in my big pot of soup. So, Otherwise, normally I would be putting some celery. You could put some scallion if you have it. Chop up that meat a little bit more. So this looks like it's about done. I did add some uh, fresh grated garlic on top. That I grated with my wonderful cheese grater here. I use this for garlic almost every day. You know, I cook with a lot of garlic. I absolutely love it. Um, if you'd like the same exact one with the protective color, it's all, um, what do you call food grade, uh, stainless steel in the description box below will be my storefront. You can head over to my Amazon storefront and go into kitchen essentials and it's right in, in that category. All right. I couldn't live without this. I absolutely love it. So now that my garlic's in here, we're just going to give this a couple of little turns Guys, it smells so good. This is going to be my lunch for a few days. And I got to I got to double check the turkey cuz I believe this is zero points. Let's just give it a quick taste see if it needs anything. Mm mm mm. My God, that is so good. All right. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. I have a doctor's appointment today. So I'm actually just going to put this in a bowl. And when I come back from the doctor's, this is what I'm going to have for my lunch. I'll put the points in the description box below with the full recipe. Thank you all so much for watching. This was super fast and easy to make. Anybody can do it. And it is absolutely delicious. If you wanted to buy some wonton wrappers, I believe they are uh, five of the small ones for three points. You could always spray them with your spray, stick them into the air fryer and crisp them up. And then just put this on and eat like that. If you wanted something else on the side, I'm not going to do that, but you can always do that if you'd like. But yeah, this is um, absolutely delicious. Can't wait to eat it later on. So thanks for tuning in. Please hit that subscription button. If you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you all in the next video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Bye-bye, my friends. See you later.